Okay guys, today we're back. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get some stuff prepared to get this guy's motor together. Everything's pretty much here. Cylinders are back from uh, machine work. They're bored and ported. Everything looks real nice. I'll give you guys a shot of his cases right here real quick. This is just spray painted. This is the replacement set of cases. His um, had a couple of damaged bolt holes and stuff like that and he wanted it to be nice and look nice so ordered these from a group member got them all cleaned up and got them painted up so now um, his clutch basket to say the least is shot so of course the fingers are broke off it's grooved out the gear has tons of slack in it so it's time to replace it so I haven't done a video on how to replace one yet before so we're gonna do that now and uh, I'm gonna show you guys what we got to replace it I'm gonna move this out the way got a chariot clutch basket I'll show you guys what's inside and actually I went ahead and bought the uh, the pancake bearing as well didn't come with it you have to order that separately but you get a new uh, support plate of course you get all new cushions and bolts and you get this is the first time unwrapping this a nice fresh crisp clutch basket from chariot so we're going to get this puppy installed and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Let me get set up. Alright, so there's a few different ways you can do this. You can um, drill these out, grind them off. You can drill them, grind them, punch them out with a hammer and a punch. You can drill them, grind them, press them out with a uh, bench press. There's all kinds of different ways. Um, I'm going to show the way that uh, most everybody is going to do it. Um, I'm going to grind them off and punch them out with a, with a hammer and a punch. Now, you can use a few different tools. You can use a die grinder with an air compressor. You know, that cutting wheel is about gone, but here's a full-size cutting wheel. Um, I'm not going to use that because, let's face it, it's easier for guys to go out. If they don't have anything, it's easier for you guys to go out, Harbor Freight, pick you up a cheap uh, angle grinder, like a 4-inch grinder, grind them off and do it that way. Because I know everybody doesn't have air compressors, right? So we're going to do it that way. I'm just going to use a DeWalt 4.5-inch uh, grinder. And what we're going to do, let me go zoom in here. And get this readjusted we're just gonna grind off each individual one we're gonna grind them flush yeah my gloves are too big we're gonna grind them flush with here and then we'll take and just punch them out so we're gonna go ahead and do that and we'll see what happens see if I'm getting away of the camera Okay, so you can see there it's ground off flush and it doesn't matter what you do to this plate right here you just don't want to tear a gear up and you'll be fine because all this is going to be replaced so I'm going to continue to do the other three that way and we'll be back all right so now you can see that the rivets are ground off flush so now what I like to do is take a center punch and mark where that rivet is at so that when I punch it I'm in the right location well they, you, that one's already going through so we're just gonna go ahead and knock it right on through if you get these ground off well it doesn't take much at all let me back out a little bit there's a there's an old rivet get dead center as we can here and the first few licks, you don't have to hit hard. It just get you a mark going. There we go. Now we'll go ahead and knock it out. Goes the plate. Go ahead and take that off of there. We'll go ahead and finish knocking this out. Now, 
that's how you'd knock all four of them out. But once this plate comes off, your job is done. All you need is to get this gear off of here. And it'll come off as soon as you get that plate off of there. Oh, and underneath that plate, you're going to have this washer and all of your spacers. Well, your cushions, rather. Now, this washer, be sure when you put this back on or the bowl side facing up. So then you can just take your remaining cushions and pop them out of there. And then the, uh, the gear will come right off of there. Now, let me zoom out. Now see what I was saying about when you drill everything or grind everything, as long as you don't damage the gear, that's all you're worried about. You can do whatever you need, you can do whatever you need to to this, what's left of it. Oh my god, it's phone. And then this plate, you get a replacement. So this is all, you know, it's game on. You can do whatever you need. But you can see what I did there with just grind them flush. It doesn't take long at all with a good grinder. Just center punch them and knock them right out. That's all there is to it. It doesn't take long at all. Okay, let me get cleaned up and we're going to put our new one on. All right, cool. We're ready to put this thing together now. So I'm going to try to make this video short and to the point. Okay, so new basket. Gear's all cleaned up. Washer's all cleaned up. We've got all our hardware laying out right here to the side. New cushions, new bolts, new support plate. Gear goes on. Like that. Not like this. Won't work that way. Goes like this. And then we're going to go ahead and set in our washer. Remember, bowl side facing up. You notice no gloves. I like to work with no gloves when I'm assembling because I can feel if there's dirt or anything like that. Then we're going to put in our cushions. Cushions go in like this. You just put them all on the big side. Then we can rotate it. And then we just uh, just squeeze them in. They're not real hard to get into off, see? You just want to get both sides kind of started at the same time. There we go. All our cushions are new are now in. No more slack. Then we're going to put on our support plate. Boom, just like that. And we're going to go ahead and take our bolts. I'm going to move this over just a bit. I'm going to lay these here. Let me grab an Allen. Okay, these are a five millimeter. So now I'm going to take and apply Loctite to them. And I'm going to put plenty of Loctite on these. We don't want these to come out, that is for sure. Here we go. And we just drop them in place. Let me get these put in and then I'll recenter the basket in the uh, in the shot. There we go. And we just run these in with a five millimeter. Then we're just gonna snug them down real good. We'll do this first to be sure the plate centered where it needs to be. We'll snug them down. I had to grab my little cobalt, my little uh, Dewar. I forgot my cobalt's in my trailer. I don't feel like I want to get it right now. So that's it. Lock tied it up, ready to go. There's our new chariot basket installed. No more broken fingers. No more slack. That's all there is to it, guys. Y'all have a good one. God bless.